Like clockwork on right after Palantir's best earnings, Dan Ives does another official price target increase from their base case of $35 now to $38, referencing the AIP story now taking hold for Palantir. Note though, like the last coverage on Dan Ives, the bull case for him though still actually remains at $50 for them. And let me know quick in the comments your thoughts on the bull case and when you think Palantir could actually reach that if they do for a $50 price target. And he notes though, for Q2 2024 earnings, this is a game changer for Palantir in his opinion, as the AIP monetization story shines, noting how US commercial speaks for itself. And that's a very important statement that I actually have some interpretations for. Now, looking at the pre-market though, as of this recording, we're actually simmered down from the excitement from last night, but it is a bit early being almost a couple hours before market opens, so we'll see how that plays out. But for reference, right when earnings was released, we did actually pop into the 2829s for a brief moment until leveling off a bit. So we'll see how the market fully digests Palantir's earnings later on, which I covered in my full earnings coverage video posted last night here if you'd like to check that out. Now, I agree with Dan Ives. The monetization story is really speaking volumes for Palantir right now. Increased revenue at 27% year over year was totally unexpected, as well as the 24% US government year over year too in that increase. Plus, they had strong guidance in my opinion with Q3 around 25-26%, as well as their net dollar retention showing them continuing to expand their current customer base's service and value provided to them and to get more revenue. Now, the one thing though that I pointed out being kind of the not so blazing hot item yet is the customer count and US customer count specifically. We are continuing to see the consistent acquisition in the customer number, but it was actually less customers gained this quarter than last quarter for US commercial customers. But things still seem to be building up as well as if you look at their deal sizes, I don't blame companies for wanting to pilot or test them out and take some decent amount of time before actually locking down a nice contract which will cost you a few million bucks maybe. Hence, probably why Pouncer has been kind of reluctant on giving out very, very specific conversion numbers for the AIP bootcamps and only providing anecdotal examples in the slides shown here. But it also just can be the nature of the bootcamps varying across the board, and it's not really easy to measure, right? If you have multiple organizations at one, or you have one here, and the different sizes and the different areas. But it's great to see an official price target increase with Wedbush continuing to lead the pack of analysts at $38. But do as you'd like with this information. Information. analysts are still analysts but let me know your thoughts below and i'll see you in the next video